everyone, what's up? This is Simon from the Ionic Academy. In this quick one, I'll show you how you can uh, combine two of the most popular patterns. So we will use the side menu pattern and the top bar pattern. And we will combine them in a few different ways. So we want to open a top bar from the sidebar and we also want to jump right into one top bar. We want to have uh, a page without top bar. So we will try to integrate those different elements into our app. So let's dive into the content and I've created a blank new Ionic app. And first of all, we need to create a few more pages. So let's start with the dashboard tabs. And another one, let's call this one uh, lists tabs. So these are uh, just the two basic uh, tab bar pages uh, which uh, will hold a tab bar. Then our home page will take care of creating the menu element. And then uh, we might also need the no tabs page. And of course, if we have a tab bar, we need some pages for the tab bar. So uh, the following pages are more or less um, simply dummy pages. So the dashboard tab bar will have a profile and a settings page. And the lists page might have a to-do list page. And also, let's say, a grocery list page. Okay, so those four pages now are just some dummy pages. Uh, we can write something into them, but we will not really work on them. So let's start by implementing our site menu. First of all, the home page is already created, but of course we need to change the content a bit. So um, let me bring in the actual content for the site menu and then we can talk about this. So this is how an ion menu side menu pattern looks. Uh, we got the ion menu tag, which references uh, the content variable, which is right here defined. So uh, through this connection, the menu knows what to display in the actual main area of the side menu. And the stuff in here is simply uh, the content of the side menu. So the side menu can of course have a little header uh, it can have a content, it could have a footer as well. And within the content, we have a list of a few buttons that should open different pages and perhaps perform different actions. And the navigation below is basically, um, let me bring this in real quick. Uh, the navigation below is basically what will be replaced. So this is a completely new navigation stack for the actual content. All right, so let's go to our home TS and work a bit on a few things. So first of all, we need view child enough. So we need a reference to the actual navigation. Uh, we also had this in the tutorial about uh, different roles and uh, site menus. So there, we go then we have an array of pages if you want to you can add some types like string uh, the title then a component in our case also a string and finally a uh, bit more interesting uh, this one right here but we will see what this actually means in a second the root page of our site menu needs to be set in the beginning so let's set this I don't know if you heard this. Um, I sometimes feel like we're living in New York because we're right to a street in our new apartment and it can be kind of loud, but I hope you're fine. So the root page is what is opened first and this is the dashboard tabs page, um, just one of the tabs. Then we need to define the actual menu items and this will be our pages. So let me bring them in because we need to save some time here with a quick win. So every page has a title, exactly what we defined here, a component, um, which is actually in the Ionic example, a real component because they don't use lazy loading in, the, uh, in their example. But in our case, we use a string and lazy loading for the component. So uh, just a tiny change. And then I also added this open tab 
um, because from one of the side menu links we want to dive into a tab bar navigation but also into oops a specific tab to open and we can pass this value around quite easily and you will see how very soon otherwise uh, we just open the tabs and the tabs contain the other pages so nothing special in here and also the fourth page has no tabs at all it is simply a page that we display within the side menu so um, the concept is pretty easy um, within the side menu we uh, replace whenever we want to open a page we say our navigation set root because we want to um, set the main content area of the site menu so on the side is the menu and the big part that's most of the time visible is actually the content and we set this completely new because we don't want to push the page when we click a link in the site menu to page oops page dot component and with this set root we can also specify params and that's exactly what we will do and this is page dot open tab the value we have in just one so for the others this will be undefined but uh, we don't have to worry about this okay um, I'm not sure if the example is already working let's take a look um, to some degree <laughs> yeah we're on the dashboard tabs page but we haven't created a tapper and we also are missing the menu toggle button so we can't actually oh I can slide it in so we see we already got the menu with the different elements um, works pretty fine already uh, just a few things are not yet working so let's add the first tapa to um, uh, let's say the grocery uh, list tabs there we go okay so we can get rid of this and for all the um, pages we can add this menu toggle so we can actually navigate around uh, let me bring this into the other pages as well oops it was not my intention so the list tabs the dashboard tabs uh, and also the note tabs okay so on the list tabs we want to have my lists and within uh, the content area we actually don't need this content area but simply the ion tabs element which defines the actual tabs and everyone or each of them can have of course an icon so let's say this one is check mark tab title uh, is to do's and then you need to set the root page and we will define them within the TypeScript file. So let's just add two of them. Let's call this groceries and this is the tab two. So now we just need to set these two root elements and the tapper will automatically do the magic in the background. So the tapper will be displayed. The first tab or whatever you want to select will be displayed. And we now just need to make sure that we set the root element for the tab bar. So we got tab one and we also got tab two. And I think the first one was uh, to do's. Okay, so for to do's, we set our to do list, which is to do list page. And for the second one, we set grocery list page. And that's it. Now, if we refresh, and sometimes the lab command is starting in the wrong place so just reload in that case uh, dashboard not yet set but if we go to my lists we see we got to do's we got groceries we can switch between them uh, if you want to see that there's actually something in here so grocery and then somewhere is to do so if you don't trust what I say yes there we go my lists to do's grocery and also note that we're currently uh, from our tabs defining the header for the page um, 
I'm actually not sure what happens if we comment this out. Let's see. Okay, yes. In that case, uh, we get the header from each of the pages. So the grocery list header and the to-do list header. Um, both are totally fine. You could have it just in one place here and remove it from uh, here. Or you could have it inside uh, the single pages and not inside the tabs. That's completely up to you. Uh, just make sure that you add the menu toggle because currently we would not be able to navigate back to the menu. Okay, so that's for the easy way. No tabs is fine. Let's move on to uh, the bit more advanced tabs. And I'll just copy this over to the dashboard tabs. And of course, this is now the dashboard, but we can keep most of this, just use a few different things here. So settings and persons, um, we actually have the pages. Yes, of course, uh, let's call this one profile settings, settings, uh, person profile, tab one, tab two, and we go to our TypeScript file. Just like before we set tab one to uh, whatever we like, settings, page, and tab two is in this case, the profile page. Um, but now we got one special case because we can navigate from the menu, which is here, directly to the profile or we want to navigate there. And we are already passing the open tab value to the dashboard tabs page. So now we just need to make sure, perhaps inside the ion view did load, that we extract this nav param from this dot nav params get open tab. And if open tab is defined, in that case we say um, that we toggle uh, like emulating a click on the second tab because we want to open this and not the first one, which is the standard. And for this, we just assign an ID to our ion tabs, like my tabs, and then add, a, add view child to the page, um, which is looking for my tabs. And this will be the reference to our tabs. And then one, when we get open tab, we say that we want to select uh, an index or the tab instance of the tab. So this could be uh, zero or one in our case. And this is passed through with the variable. So we simply use it like this and then give it a refresh. And after the refresh, we see Okay, we are on the dashboard, we got the settings, we got the profile, so we can switch. We already got two different tab bars combined with the side menu, just as a quick note, settings profile and the other ones are the two lists. And normally whenever we go to dashboard settings, the first tab is selected. But if we go with a direct profile link, we are immediately on the profile page, simply because we passed through from the menu the navparam open tab and here use our tabs reference to select this open tab. And also no tabs works just fine as well. All right, so that's it for the advanced site menu tab bar configuration. Um, you've seen how to use the site menu with a tab bar, with another tab bar, so different tab bars, how to navigate into a tab bar, um, how to use a page without a tab bar, so more or less all the options you might need for your site menu apps. If you have any questions, feel free to ask below the video or send me an email. Um, otherwise, make sure to check out the ionicacademy.com if you want some great resources on learning Ionic with video courses, projects and an awesome community. I'd love to see you inside. Also make sure to follow this channel for more Ionic videos and I'll catch you inside the next video. Have a great day.